So, after a year of looking, I bought a house. An abandoned hoarder house. Yeah, over these next few months, I'll be demolishing and flipping this house and maybe finding some weird stuff along the way. We're taking the worst house on the block and flipping it into a multi-million dollar listing. And I want to bring you guys along for the journey. So let's go. Everybody want to, in case there's a bomb, <laughs> it could be booby trapped if it has its own power. Really? Yes. You guys okay with that? Hey guys, it's Tiffany. What is freaking up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, what's new in my life? is the fact that I bought a hoarding house and today is another day of us going to that house. There has been such an emotional roller coaster happening with this house because every day something new is happening and every day I have another update for you guys. So this morning I got a phone call from the workers saying that the previous owner who owned the house, his nephew stopped by the house and asked if he could keep the safe. Yeah. I cannot believe the audacity. I'm shocked, but now I'm even more curious to see what's inside of that safe because we had paid the estate $20,000, as you guys know, to literally clean the house. I don't know who owns the estate. I'm not sure who it is, but I'm guessing the family has something to do with the estate and they could have cleaned the house as well, but they didn't. And now that they see that we've been cleaning the house and demoing it and doing all this stuff, they want to take the good stuff, which is whatever is in that safe. So we're kind of feeling pressure to get that safe opened now. So we're going to try to work really hard on that. And we're going to call some contractors up to get them to open that safe for us because now I'm afraid that they're going to try to rob the safe because as you guys know, the house has already been robbed. We don't know by who yet, but now the nephew stopped by inquiring about the safe, but we're going to get that safe open. So today I'm going to go to the house, check out that safe, see what's going on. Kathy is going to be meeting me there. We're going to demo together and it's so fun demoing with like another chick because I don't feel as weak. So I'm excited for her to be there with me and we're just going to get shit done today. But yeah, let's go. I don't want to be in the video because I'm going to have too many girls looking for me. Okay, one, two, three. Guys, Kathy and I have given up. This is the extent we're doing. <laughs> Honestly, good ass job though. This is great. For it being my first time really doing demo and Kathy's first time kind of, we did a great job. Like, look at this. Look at this. We can see a hole into the bathroom. I did this little wall right here. I mean, Manuel really helped us out, but we got it done ish i mean it's probably gonna look so much better when we come in tomorrow because someone else is gonna do it i'm proud of us hey guys so it's the next day right now literally i'm on my way to the house i gotta change really fast though but today's exciting because we're getting that safe open today or we're gonna try to get that safe open today so we got a contractor out he is gonna try to open that safe we're gonna attempt to do it Yesterday was scary because yesterday I wasn't sure if someone was gonna try to rob the safe. So today we're gonna clean the garage and we got a contractor out. So let's go see what they've done because I'm running a little late today. Uh, All right guys, we're cleaning out the garage. I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like the last time I was here, but it was definitely filled out. We're slowly cleaning it out. So we have to clean it out before we get to open the safe because clearly it's kind of hard to work in this garage right now. But we got the trunks open and out. There's only clothes in there. Just random stuff in these trunks they look super old and so cool i wonder if they're from the war because he was in the vietnam war and i feel like he collected a lot of collectibles from the war this is toyo there's an x on that so if you guys know what any of that means please let me know wow so manual finish the bathroom whoa i can see underneath the house Oh, 
So we believe these to be uh, a 1920s vault. Uh, what we're doing is we're attempting to uh, eliminate any type of burnables or combustible just in case it's booby trapped. Okay. It may have a booby trap inside. Uh, Fun. I should be able to get into that. Or I'm sorry, I will get into that. We love the confidence Better there. Is not an option. <laughs> wow, you're a natural, David. A natural. Right How long have you been doing this type of work? Well, after oh college. My God. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's the circle of life. Oh man. <laughs> I'm surprised you're holding that up. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> you ain't even got to say it back, but I hope you ain't, you ain't been on the ledges for the act. And I see ya, I see you messing around with other brothers. And I gotta say, you ain't gonna catch me waiting around for that. See my baby, baby, baby. She don't play it, yeah. Well, at least that's what I thought like yesterday. Okay, guys, little update here. I just went home. My camera might die, which really sucks because we're doing so much today. I've been helping clean the floors. It's kind of hard because I only have a shovel and no like dustpan, but it's it's working, it's working. I cannot wait to get that safe open. Unfortunately, we think that using a torch might be a little dangerous, so we're gonna grab a grinder instead and try to grind it open. We are running into a problem right now, which is the fact that we have no electricity at the house, so we asked the neighbors if we could use their electricity. We offered to pay them, but they were not down for it. I think we were gonna try to give them like over $100 just to use electricity for a few hours. They weren't really down for that. We're trying to figure it out. We might grab a generator and bring it to the house. As of right now, we don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try to get that safe open. David, who is the guy that's gonna do it, really thinks he can do it. I believe in his confidence. It looks like he's done it before. Wow, what are we finding? Is that a tiny TV? That's the, uh, that is case. so cute. Oh my Not gosh. Do you think it still works? Down, this is gonna be state of the art. Yeah, it probably works. There's two of them. Oh wow. <laughs> Kathy just found a knife. That's cool. Are you gonna keep it? I think so. You should keep it. I don't know how real this is. This is Los Angeles in 1983. That's crazy. What's this? There's like nothing here. What is this Long Beach? But look at that in LA. What's that even? It's like so small. This is a map of LA from what the 1980s? 19, yeah, 1983. 1963. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What did you find? What's that? Is it a pin? Yeah. Or is it, no, I think there's something in it. If you open it. I think it's a jewelry box. Is it a metal? Yeah. It's crazy. Lambert Walker. Wait, mine's still that small. Really? Yeah. I've never seen one that's red. I've never seen red ink. I think this was a... Just a metal? No, it says 1988. 1988? No, it's a silver dollar. Yeah, one ounce silk, fine yeah. silver. Lunch break! Woo! <laughs> Time to eat Pizza Hut and sodas. <laughs> I'm excited. We got the generator. How heavy is that thing? Oh yeah, we definitely wouldn't have gotten that. Sweet, we have power now. Just as of me, yeah, yeah. And I ain't no athlete, I don't play games. No, no. So tell me, is you yeah, is, or is you There's a couple of layers. Uh, the first layer is this thick, and then the cement is going to be about this That's wide. It? So there's cement under here. And can you peel it off one at a time? Uh, so what I do is I open up a plate, and then from there, uh, we break well, the cement, and then I go after it. And you the cement. But the way you acting lately got me down. the plate out. But there's one more plate. There's the second layer. So that oh. sucker is about six inches thick. Okay, now everybody stand out of my way. All right. There they are. See them? That's what I was looking for. How many are the down three? This one has two. Go for it. 
This one right here, it's spinning, so this is probably the combination. That oh, was the combination. And that's here. what they broke. And then this is the locking mechanism. So we're going to bypass that. I'll cut here, pull this down, cut here, pull these up, cut here, pull this out, and it'll open. That's exciting. Wow, I'm actually shocked we got to this point today. Guys, we're getting close. We're getting close to getting that thing opened. It has been the biggest struggle, but David is getting it done. So is Manuel. I'm excited to see it. So we're talking about what we think is going to be inside of it. Please comment down below what your guesses are. What do you think is going to be inside of it? I personally think there's probably going to be guns inside of there. Some of them are thinking there might be treasures like stocks and bonds and gold we actually just found something really cool this guy that used to live here was super into gold mining so potentially there's gold in there we shockingly found this thing this is what it looks like you mine gold with it kind of difficult to tell but clearly if this guy's into gold maybe he has gold he was also super into silver coins and cool money so this looks pretty new so potentially really cool stuff is inside there is, that is it happening it be happen. no way no way Everybody want to, in case there's a bomb, <laughs> it could be booby trapped if it has its own power. Really? Yes. You guys okay with that? Yeah. You guys ready to meet God? Yes. All right. In the name of Jesus. Oh, wow, there's power. Come here. Yeah. Oh, cut, cut, cut the, cut the, the video. All right, I know you guys are excited to see what's inside of this vault, but I'm not gonna lie. David didn't think it was safe for me to show you guys what was inside of this vault, which kind of got me scared. So stay tuned for part four to see what happened. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.